I just want to say that after this Invitational, if Zero gets this two-step, if Zero proceeds with the second win of an Invitational, then he better come out of retirement because we are finally seeing our grand finals match, Zero versus MK Leo. Yeah, and, and he's pulling out the scarf again. Let's go, Scarf Army in full effect. But in the, as we saw in previous um, the previous match, that all three characters are unlocked again so they can start from fresh. Smash Ball is off, items are off. It's gonna be a nice little one-on-one, -on -one, a clean little one-on-one. -on -one. Stage hazards will be off as well too, so you do get a pretty good replica of some high-level competitive play between these two. There is the opportunity for a bracket reset. If MK Leo can take the first best of three, we will reset the bracket. It is double elimination, but if you're zero, you're two wins away from becoming the champion. So take me through maybe some of this character strategy. We saw what MK Leo, Vicky, was able to do with Bayonetta. Did we see if Zero counters with Sheik? Or what type of decision do you think we might see from these players? Um, I'm kind of expecting the Sheik. Uh, funny that you mention it, Jordan. Uh, Bayonetta. Is she going to be the best character <laughs> in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Vish? <laughs> I mean, that, la that last set was kind of kind of crazy, dude. The, the ladder combo is still in full effect. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what Zero does, because I think MK Leo is pretty con uh, comfortable with his Bayonetta pick, just based on how things are going. I feel like Zero is going to go Sheik, because it felt like he got a few of his own combo initiations and combo setups going in terms of his forward airs, in terms of his bouncing fishes off stage. So I think that's the matchup we're going to see. But I mean, we could just see a curveball with something else. What do you think? Let's get set for these grand finals of the Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018. MK Leo taking on Zero. Final destination. Smash ball off, items off. And we get set as these two titans get ready to square off against each other. The characters will be, oh, it's a me, oh. a Mario for Zero taking on Bayonetta for MK Leo. So no surprises with MK Leo, but Zero going with Mario. Yeah, uh, Mario also had a lot of uh, decent up tilt setups that he had before, and even uh, the up air string really well. So I think this this could work out too. He's got the combo setups with Mario as well. Curious to see how this one goes. Grand Finals, best of three, one on one. Smash ball off, items off as well too. MK Leo with the grab, beautiful up tilt as well too. Mario with the back air and the up tilt. A nice little juggle right there, Vicky. Yeah, Bass with be not being as safe as you may think from the previous game. But MK Leo applying a good amount of pressure. Zero playing everyone's favorite plumber, trying to play as safe as possible. Does not want to get caught in that witch twist, Jordan. Grab into the down throw from Zero, unable to turn that into a combo right there. And then you continue to look at the constant pressure that MK Leo is applying on Zero here, Vish. Yeah, it feels like uh, grab combos are not quite as potent. It, it's more just for like positioning. We saw him try to go for the upper air. We saw Bayonetta try to go with uh, her throw as well, and not really connecting too much. So I think. Aerials. Oh, that was amazing. Spacing to be right outside that hitbox. Zero's crazy. Double forward smash? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zero doing a great job of locking that down air from MK Leo Bayonetta. MK Leo at 95, Zero at 92. These fighters have been so equally matched throughout this tournament. Now comes the edge guard phase by MK Leo. Zero able to get back on the stage. MK Leo sending Zero off. Zero looking for the recovery. Able to get back on, Vicky. Yeah, I like the use of the cape right there. It's able to stall his recovery, but unfortunately not going to be enough as Leo continuously goes down there and edge guards him with the back air. Yeah, so it, uh, the, le the ledge has similar mechanics to Smash for You, where you get the ledge trump, but you don't get the back air afterwards that you do in Smash for Wii U. So going out there before you even get the ledge is a great way to get the edge guard. You saw him just get the hit before you could even contest the edge. Mario into the down tilt. Oh, gets the up smash against MK Leo, and it's now two stocks to two. Oh, the dash dance? Zero? It's moving really fast. Okay, the combo, and, and DI'd out of it. Okay, all right. All right, but no more up tilt combos here. But as I say that with the upper and then trying to go for that fair, Flood is still ready for him. MK Leo, though, makes it back onto the stage. Yeah, it, sounded, it looked like he was had, getting something started, especially with a forwarder at the end and then using the flood and trying to cape right after. This is some high level already. I'm really liking what I'm seeing in this one-on-one. -on -one. Zero able to avoid the KO from the juggle that we saw at the top. MK Leo so well known for that. It's 92 for MK Leo, 85 for Zero. Down to two stocks here in our first of three in the grand finals, Vicky. Like to note that SDI is not as prominent within Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, although DI does become important at later percents. And unfortunately, 
with that air dodge, it's going to have too much lag to be able to recover back onto the stage. A mishap by zero. It's going to cost him a stock. It's now two stocks to one. And if you're MK Leo here, Vish, you want to make the most of this one stock advantage. <laughs> but there goes that advantage. <laughs> yeah, that, Down that'll... to our final stock here, the first matchup of grand finals. Bayonetta with the up tilt. MK Leo at zero. Zero at 45% when it comes to health. Oh, we see the perfect shield right there. Yeah, and perfect shielding in this game uh, actually happens when the shield goes down. So you have to be shielding, and then you let go at the proper timing, and it does the perfect shield as opposed to previously where it would be where the shield came up. Bayonetta getting zero into that combo. Zero able to get out of there. MK Leo applying the pressure, the grab, side throw, trying to punish on the edge right there. Up B by zero to get back on stage, Vicky. Very smart of zero to keep his jump in that instance. Oh. Unfortunately, oh. he's going to be getting out of it. Oh, first game will go to MK Leo and Bayonetta. It's best of three in this grand finals. If MK Leo can steal two out of these three, we reset the bracket. What did you like from what he was doing with Bayonetta in that matchup? Uh, I like the way he was edge guarding. As soon as um, Zero was way far off, he was trying to shoot. And I, I think before Zero could even do the up Bs to get the ledge, he would go out there and do the edge guards. At the end, though, Zero tried to mix him up by doing the up E earlier and get on stage. And we see the magnet hands are not nearly as strong as they were before. So I'm liking the little mix ups that we're, we're seeing from both of these players. Vicky, you pointed it out. We saw a little bit of a mishap from Zero. He went with that air dodge with Mario, and the lag is so long after that. We saw the self inflicted KO, and that was a critical stock in this match. It's quite unfortunate. Um, Directional air dodge actually has a lot of ending lag, so you don't want to do it too high above the ground. You kind of want to do it closer to the ground so that way you can take advantage. But also at the same time, Jordan, we can't be dodging too much in this game or else it starts slowing down. It certainly does. Both these fighters have the chance to change their characters as they get set. So let's get you set for game two in this grand finals. We're looking for a potential bracket reset. If MK Leo can get the victory over Zero, Zero is just two games away from becoming our Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018 champion. And we have Sheik versus Sonic, a couple of very speedy characters here, Mish. For sure. And uh, like we were mentioning before, just the, the, the tilt combos, the forward airs, the bouncing fish, it, it feels like Zero's definitely in his comfort zone here uh, going up against the Sonic. Sonic doing a great job early on with the grab into the down throw, getting the juggle early on. Both fighters spacing each other out, but MK Leo at only 8%, zero already with 62% damage. And Vicky, we see those throws by MK Leo and Sonic leading to some nice two and three hit combos. Yeah, MK Leo is doing a really good job at taking advantage of catching landings with wow. Sonic, uh, a character who is known to have some of the fastest speed in the game. Yeah, yeah, and, and we see a lot of uh, moves hitting into back air or even uh, out of throws as we're talking about doing the up air and then he does the up beef really cleverly to get out of zero's range and then using the aerial drift to get back to the center stage i really like this play and he's using the up beat there again to try to edge guard him as the bumper falls down it does have a hitbox and an up smash coming out from mk leo taking the first stock mk leo's up smash gives him the three two stock advantage mk leo at just 55 percent as well so he's going to try and certainly make the most of this the crowd chanting mk leo the support for the young here as he tries to upset zero another grab Vicky into a juggle and we see MK Leo dominating the aerial game here early on yeah zero finally finding his footing onto the ground and how exciting would it be Jordan to see a bracket reset and more characters on the screen now we see Leo taking advantage of Sonic speed yeah and he's doing a really good job while zero is above him just kind of homing in and uh, figuring out where exactly he's gonna go and then connecting it to up airs and back airs as he's been doing so he's just following him while he's in the air and he gets oh! the, the charge for Ash. He just caught Zero jumping right into it. Brilliantly played by MK Leo and Sonic, and he has a commanding three to one stock lead at this point. Zero trying to come back and take a game from MK Leo. If not, we're gonna have a bracket reset and a quick one like that. Oh, oh but she getting an up smash, and it's now two stocks to one here, Vicky. That follow up into the up smash was just beautiful coming from Zero, and MK Leo is not faltering. Notice how Zero now has one stock. He does have quite a hill to climb here. Yeah. MK Leo, zero. As we said, MK Leo can advance with a victory here and advance it to a bracket reset. Sheik trying to get that bear to connect. No luck right there. MK Leo coming back down to the field. Block trying to punish right there, but zero able to recover with Sheik. Both fighters still staying in the middle of this map here, Fish. I gotta say, MK Leo is doing such a great job getting out of these combos using the up B. It's like really fast and gets you so far up there that zero can't really get anything started. And then he just aerial drifts to like the center of the stage. It's really great play for MK Leo, and he gets. 
I almost hit the upper. This guy's going. This guy's going nuts. Beautiful yeah. mix-up by MK Leo to keep zero at bay. 100 for zero. 92.5 for MK Leo. MK Leo with a two-to-one stock advantage. Trying to get the KO at the top with the up air. No luck right there. The grab into the side throw from zero. MK Leo with that forward air. Now he has to edge guard. Zero getting back up on the stage. MK Leo trying to close this one out here, Vic. He's playing extremely patient right here, but unfortunately falls susceptible to zero's up smash once again, Vish. Yeah, I mean, that, like we're talking about, if he does that aerial drift that many times, eventually zero's gonna get a read on him. And he read that up smash, but gets the back air with the cutscene finish. Beautiful. We have a bracket reset. MK Leo taking two games from zero in our grand final. So let's go ahead and reset this thing. And now it becomes a true best two out of three between both these very talented fighters. And what we saw there, Vicky, with Sonic was the ability to really dominate the aerial game. But as Vish pointed out, getting out of those combos that Zero was trying to throw at him. Yeah, using the spring as well as an option to just make sure he's not going to be falling uh, to Zero's combos. He kept his ground really well throughout the entire match and continuously racked up a lot of damage on Zero as Zero was trying to find his footing back to the stage. But uh, I will say that it felt like Zero was kind of adapting towards the end because he kind of understood, okay, he's going to try to get out of my combos as soon as he can with the up B. So as the set goes on, I'm wondering if Zero will punish those kind of uh, up Bs and then try to wait for the aerial drift a little bit harder even. So it's going to be interesting to see how this progresses. Well, let's get ready for our grand finals. It'll be best two out of three. We had the bracket reset. MK Leo taken on zero. Let's see the character selection. Oh, oh Sonic oh. versus Mario. Take me back to all my arguments in the 1990s right here, Vicky. Oh my goodness, the ultimate battle. And what a great fitting battle at that here within our final grand finals match. And here we are, Sonic versus Mario, ladies and gentlemen, with Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on the screen. Where are we leaving right now, Vish? This, this is crazy, man. You could not have picked these two more iconic characters for such, for such a finals. Um, it feels like Zero is, MK Leo is really uh, controlling the center well, and he goes back to center, and because he has such speed with Sonic, he can just dash all the way back and punish uh, Zero's movement. So he's already got a little bit of a lead. Side, side grab into the throw by Zero, able to clear space out of MK Leo. Zero trying to move around. MK Leo with that speed gets that dash attack to connect. Oh, but there's the air dodge we talked about. Vicky able to recover in time. Right. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately he had to resort to recovering uh, early there, and he got hit by forward smash, but he was still able to make it back onto the stage. Right. Right. MK Leo with the 56 percent health advantage to zeros 114 early on both fighters at three stocks yeah it just really feels like this the uh, mkla was content with just kind of keeping center stage oh and a, a strong forward smash but not quite enough percent trying to use the flood to push him off not enough the drift but gets the up smash on recovery like that zero up smash from zero clears things out and you continue to look at the three to one three to two stock advantage for zero at this point MK Leo and Sonic trying to connect with that forward smash back air. No good right there. Sonic able to miss right there, but the punish and the throw by Zero here, Vicky. Yeah, and it's just as Vish said, Zero adapting to MK Leo and playing a lot more aggressively. Yeah, I also feel like Zero is actually staying really grounded as opposed to jumping because uh, MK Leo would just kind of get those punishes while Zero is in the air. And Zero is just like, you know, I'm going to stay on the ground and get these nice little ground combos and rack up some percent going into the stock. The one, two, three jab on the edge guard, another down tilt to the edge guard, and Zero really doing a fine job staying grounded with Mario and getting those combos against MK Leo he wasn't able to get in the last game here, Vic. Oh man, it really it really feels like yeah, it's hard to edge guard Sonic just the way he uh, bounces like that and goes all the way below and then gets the up B. Mario can't really do much, just kind of waiting for uh, Sonic to get back. MK Leo with a nice little up throw there. Okay. Right there, Vish, Sonic doing a great job. MK Leo, it's now two stocks to two. And if you're MK Leo, this is where you try to mount a comeback with the grab and the side throw by Zero. Oh, That's going to clear space. MK Leo can't recover in time. And now Vicky Zero's looking at a two to one stock advantage over MK Leo. A uh, similar situation as to what happened to Zero, not happening to Leo. But as you can see right here, he's not letting it falter him as he continues to try to find a way to get in on him. Yeah, I mean, just the grounded adaptation from Zero is so hard for Sonic to contend with. He tries to throw him up in the air and get some follow ups that way. But it's just not really a Sonic strong suit it looks like in this matchup to be grounded in that manner.
Sonic with the grab and the side throw, followed by oh. the fair, was able to rack up some damage once again, getting another throw into some combo. And here comes the forward smash. That connects right there. Both fighters getting back on stage. MK Leo trying to mount a comeback, down 2-1 in the stocks. Unable to connect with the aerial there, able to connect on the ground, but once again, zero with the grab and the side throw, Vicky. It's actually quite interesting to see that Zero's actually trying to go for the perfect shield. This new mechanic now introduced within the new game where he lets go of shield at the perfect time to parry Sonic. Yeah, the timing is really tight though, so it's, it's, it's very impressive that he's trying to go for it in this kind of juncture of the tournament. Oh, gets the pop-up, doesn't get the upper, they're back to neutral position. Zero with the two to one stock advantage, trying to get as much damage on MK Leo as he can while he still has that one stock lead. MK Leo trying to, of course, nullify that and trying to make it even ground. Oh, but the up smash from Zero, not enough to clear things out. Still not enough here, Vicky. Yeah, getting the back hit of the up smash right there. Tries to go for the frontal hit instead, but unfortunately, since oh. it was so unsafe, MK Leo was able to shield grab him and send him out of there. Yeah. Grab by Zero. MK Leo at 120. Both fighters at their final stock. Zero fresh as a daisy right now with only 0%. Oh, Zero able to connect with that fair. Beautifully done right there. MK Leo trying to avoid the combo on the edge. Rolling back right there. Gets a chance to punish with the back throw. Unable to do anything else right there, Fish. Oh, and he gets he gets a couple great hits. Is he? Okay, great air dodge from Zero. He really needed that. It looked like he was in trouble with all those back airs that MK Leo was doing. Great. Nice little back air from, from Zero as well, but it is pretty difficult to edge guard Zero. Oh, oh my no. Reed! Oh, and no. go Reed with the up smash! Oh my god, Katja slipping. Roll Zero in. gets the up smash. He takes the first game of our grand finals. Don't forget, best two out of three. Zero needs one more game, and he will be our champion of the Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018. And what we saw there, and it's a good point that you pointed out there, Vish, we saw Zero doing a better job of staying grounded. He really got punished and damaged quite a bit by those aerials in the previous matchup against Sonic. Wasn't the case this time. Yeah, I mean, just the, how much that uh, Sonic was getting while Mario was in the air, Zero kind of saw that and he was like, you know what, if I just stay grounded, I can still start up some of my initiations with my up tilt into my up airs and even some of my throws. But Sonic has a, a much harder time, it looked like, to get those kind of same initiations. But even then, it was still really close towards the end, just uh, almost with that, that edge guard from, from MK Leo with those couple back airs. You talk about MK Leo and his ability to edge guard, but the air dodge by Zero was so critical. Mm -hmm. Vicky, tell us why. Uh, because at that moment, he recognized that MKLeo was going to try to go for something. So to avoid it, he had to maneuver himself around there. But because air dodge isn't the same way in this game, you don't want to be air dodging too much. Because if you air dodge from a high distance, there's so much lag. So you could possibly be ending your stock in an SD. Well, let's get set for our next game here. MK Leo versus Zero. If Zero can get the victory here, he will be our champion. Which characters will they choose? Well, let's go ahead and just rack it up again. Mario versus Sonic. Zero controlling Mario, MK Leo controlling Sonic. And you get a chance to take a look at the different mechanics of the stage now. Right. What are we going to expect to see here strategy-wise here, Vish? I mean, it's a longer stage, so controlling center and controlling that mid-platform is going to be better. Um, it, it feels like because there are platforms, he can uh, kind of get underneath Mario and get the initiations that Sonic is really looking for. So this could work out really well for him. We'll see how it goes. And Loser chooses the stage, so this was an interesting choice by MK Leo. You want to introduce some verticality to this level here, Vicky. Yeah, this is a stage that is no stranger to us, uh, town and city finally showing itself, and MKLeo with the grab, and here's the follows, but wow, Zero falling with an aerial into a grab. We see MK Leo getting back up on the ledge at this point, trying to do an edge guard punish. Oh, Zero able to take advantage oh. of that. Three straight connections on the juggle right there, followed by the up B, and he has a 70 to 92 advantage. Zero right now looking very strong. Once again, the forward smash isn't enough. No, MK Leo able to get back on the stage here, Fish. Yeah, I mean, and I think just because the, the stage, the bottom part of the stage is so long, Sonic can just kind of traverse that way quicker. And wow, what a great recovery option doing up air and then doing another up B into up air. That actually keeps the ledge so safe. I'd be scared to edge guard if I were zero going down there. MK Leo getting back on the stage, but staring at a 148% damage right now. Zero just at 88, and there comes the smash from zero, Vicky. And uh, there's a parry that you just saw right there. The perfect shield coming out of Zero, and you can recognize that Zero's always at an advantage whenever he keeps MK Leo guessing a where option he should do off the ledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
for sure, for sure. MK Leo at 19%, Zero at 120, three to two stock advantage for Zero. Here we go, MK Leo with the back throw. Is it going to be enough? No, Zero able to get oh. back on stage, but that spring oh, that's catches crazy. him in mid air. And how about that edge guard, Vish? That's really smart. We've seen him try to do that earlier where the spring has a, a hitbox as it falls down there. And that one actually worked, worked out perfectly against Mario's style of recovery. I like it. MK Leo getting juggled a little bit in the air, but you see those platforms are now back. Zero trying to edge guard right there. MK Leo getting back on. MK Leo rolling out of the couple of aerials, thrown out by Zero, able to get the nice up smash. Zero yeah. coming down to earth right now at this point, and then here comes yet another combo here, Fish. Oh man, and again, just that upper off uh, from recovery just keeps him safe while he gets back on stage. That's actually a really great recovery option. Knocks him off, tries to read uh, drift in, but Zero doesn't bite, actually aerialing in instead, keeping himself safe. Oh. Gets the up air. Grab into the down throw earlier by MK Leo. Zero trying to hold things down on the ground, avoiding matching MK Leo in the air. And Vicky, you seem that strategy is working pretty well for Zero here early on. Yes, yeah, since he was trying to catch Leo with the up smash, instead Leo caught him with his forward smash, showing him what the fist has to say. Don't let me catch you sleeping right there. MK Leo with a two to one stock lead, however, at 131% damage, trying to get as much as he can, playing with house money at this point, trying to force a game three in our grand finals. Zero, meanwhile, has to eliminate two more stocks. Can MK Leo get back on? But Vicky, we see the recovery. And now it's one stock each. If Zero can get the KO here, he will be our champion, Fish. I really feel like as the set progresses, we're seeing these harder and harder reads with these huge smash attacks. I mean, they're not really crazy fast, so it must really have an understanding of who they're playing against and where exactly they're going to be during their um, trajectories. Really MK great. Leo with a couple of juggles right there. Zero on the side of the screen, getting a chance to recover here. Vicky, and you look at what's at stake with one stock left here for each fighter. Jordan, this is a perfect representation of momentum at its finest. MK Leo really showing that confidence as he continues to follow Zero up in the air and another grab. He is sent off the left side of the stage. Can he make it back safely, though? Yeah, and then... Uh, MK Leo just kind of keeping a little bit outside the range of any kind of hitboxes that Zero can do off the stage. And he gets the back air in the, mid, in the middle of the stage. And this is going to game three, guys. Let's get some extra Super Smash Brothers Ultimate here. It is now 1-1. And we go to a winner-take-all decisive game three for what we saw there from MK Leo and Sonic. The addition of the platforms in that level really seemed to help with that vertical game because if you were Mario and, M and Zero and you tried to stay grounded, you still had a chance to get juggled in the air by MK Leo. Uh, as Vish pointed out, the platforms actually allowed MK Leo to take advantage of the platform pressure that he was applying to Zero. Um, although it seemed very close up until the very last stock, Leo was able to carry his momentum and take game two. Oh my god, I gotta give a shout out to both these competitors for giving us the most possible matches that we could have at this Invitational, going all the way down to the last game. I am so excited, man. Well, we've had an unbelievable crowd. Is everybody ready for Game 3 Grand Finals Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018? It all comes down to this between MK Leo, can the youngster dethrone Zero, or will Zero look to repeat at yet another Invitational? It's Mario versus Sonic. Zero, the loser of the last game, choosing to go with the completely flat final destination here, Vish. Right, and it's exactly like we were talking about before. It just felt like his grounded game was really powered up with this kind of stage, and it, you just forced into the air a little bit more with that previous one. Makes sense to me in this in terms of a counterpick for Zero. Early going here. No major advantage for either fighter. Zero at 35, MK Leo at 26. Both fighters, it seems like Vicky, a little cautious and just making sure that they distance themselves from each other. Yeah, this is a uh, neutral as well. So you see uh, Leo is just trying to be a little bit more defensive, does not want to land the first hit as he recognizes that Zero is trying to go for the more aggressive approach here. Um, a lot of rolls coming from Leo, which we've established isn't the best idea, but you can tell he's feeling very confident in keeping those rolls going and keeping Zero up in the air. You see the forward air from MK Leo going out. Both fighters still relatively the same health percentage. And you look at MK Leo, gotta try and put some pressure on Zero because you have to match that aggressiveness here, Fish. Yeah, and I, I like the I like the movements that they're doing. They're not uh, being too committal with any of their attacks. They're kind of dashing and then stopping their dash with their shield so they can immediately act out of it as best they can. They either get a shield grab or they can jump out and do an aerial. Oh, he goes all the way out there. I like the quick up B from MK Leo. It kind of avoids the back air that Zero was trying. It's Zero giving 
MK Leo a taste of his own medicine with some aerials leading to some juggle combos. And now it's 115 MK Leo, 78 0. Both fighters, three stocks, as the winner will be your champion of the Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018. Zero looking to recover. Oh, able to avoid the spring there, Vicky. Yeah, uh, good, good avoidance there coming from Zero, but he still finds himself off stage. Leo applying so much pressure for the spring and that tech fish. Oh my god, that tech was amazing. I mean, he's been seeing that the, the uppy is the uppy spring is going to be coming out there, so he was definitely expecting it. He was just ready for it. And Zero to again off of the ledge. Zero is reading MK Leo with so many up smashes, gets the KO. He's up a little bit. Another grab into a side throw from Zero. He's up three stocks to two, trying to make the most that he can with this. MK Leo with the grab and the forward throw. Not enough to clear Zero out of the arena at this point. Trying to edge guard. Both fighters being very technical about what they're trying to do. Oh, another grab by MK Leo into the back throw here, Fish. Oh my god, yeah, really, really cautious play, especially on the ledge. You're just like, what is he gonna do? Am I gonna get red again? I don't wanna get smashed one more time in this finals. Oh. Patience, though, displayed from Zero. He was trying to get the reap with a down smash. Notice he still has all three stocks. He is at 151, though, so MK Leo is going to try to go for those backers a little bit more often or catch a jump with an up smash. Once again, another grab into a forward throw by MK Leo, but you see Zero able to rack up damage after damage on MK Leo with a 3 to 2 stock advantage. Zero still staying alive at 163. Both these fighters. It's been back and forth throughout this entire tournament, and beautiful aerial right there, Fish. Yeah, you can really feel like the pace of this last match was a bit slower and a little bit more methodical. They're kind of just waiting and trying to punish, trying to see where the air, air dodges come out, seeing where the recoveries are come out. Like there, Zero got a great backer on the right side of the stage there. Just trying to control center is working out so well for the... Per oh my god! Oh, Sonic smash. tried to do the down, down air, air, but the up smash by Mario trumps that. And now it's 175 to 19, but Zero with the 3 to 1 stock lead here, Vicky. Yeah, Zero with the up smash uncontested, but MK Leo with the back air finally taking Zero's first stop. That was so smart from Zero because that's one of the few options uh, Sonic has on coming down like that. And he hadn't used it, th used it thus far, but that was just the hardest, coldest three I've seen. Zero is just one KO away from becoming your champion. MK Leo staring a two to one deficit in the face. Side throw by Zero. MK Leo trying to recover. Zero missing with a couple of those aerials right there. Both fighters. Couple of glancing blows. MK Leo gets back on the stage, able to punish with the smash, Vicky. Yeah, which punch is going to hit first as MK Leo now tosses Zero off stage? Although he does have 91% on his last stock, he's going to probably want to play a little bit more safely. Yeah, he, he really needs to just with the percent that he has. He's got to really make every single recovery count. He's got to get back to center as best he can. This is not a great position. It's not worked out really well for MKLeo while he's getting off the ledge. Zero's read him many, many times. Oh my goodness. Keep an eye out for that up smash from Zero. Sonic and MK Leo at 121. Zero can smell a championship. Just has to connect with one more critical hit here. Trying to block, gets the forward air. Is it enough? No. MK Leo getting back on the stage. Zero trying to close this thing out. Side throw against MK Leo. Still not enough, to, oh, but here it is. is. And that is it. Your champion, oh. Zero, able to get the victory over MK Leo. How did he? your champion of the Super Smash Brothers Invitation.